Welcome everybody. A few changes this week. See our face. I had to shave today. <laughs> I had to check my teeth, make sure there wasn't any spinach in there. Right? I know. I, I don't even know if I smile. Do I look angry? What happens anymore? I don't know. We, <laughs> there's, it's like a whole new brave world out there where you can uh, see our faces. But uh, some good news. We can drink wine again. We can drink wine again. Really hard to drink through the mask. So uh, I'll get to work uh, opening up this little fella because I'm super excited to taste the 2020 version of the Marengo Dolce. Mm -hmm. Always one of our favorite wines. Always one of our fastest selling Italian wines. So nice to have this guy back in the shop. And uh, why don't you talk about your pack? All right. Well, it's uh, no mistake that my returning week to the shop has Marengo on feature because that is one of my favorite wines. Uh, so I'm super pumped about that. And in my time away, I spent a lot of time listening to some old favorites, uh, old playlists, and that inspired our new greatest hits. Uh, I like so, it. Yeah. Uh, like so we've got these six wines on sale for $114.95 online, or of course you could pick it up in store. And uh, we did go through and we selected a whole bunch of brand new returning wines. You guys have been busy this last couple of weeks because there's busy. a ton Back of new stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loading some Moving trucks. a lot of wine. Um, and that's what inspired this pack. So these have all just returned in the last 14 days and they are all customer favorites, not just our favorites. So um, that's the reason that it's the greatest hits. I like it. And I've had most of these already because some <laughs> of them are uh, our faves of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, Labette, we just tasted on the weekend. It's a little Syrah based. So it's got this really nice spicy kind of Syrah note. Kind of reminds me of Northern Rhone a little bit. Uh, Le Brandy, well, we've all had that one. That's like the Pizza Tuesday wine. And the, the Bistro. The Bistro is great this year. It's actually uh, based on Pinot Noir this year. So mm -hmm. it's a lighter version of it, like but really fresh and bright. It's kind of like that. It is a classic bistro wine, right? It just reminds me of the wines you get if you walk into a, you know, a restaurant in Paris and you just ask for a house red. That's what they give you, just like, like something simple and fresh, but it's never heavy. It's just yeah. like really good. It's meant to be really approachable, just yeah. your classic table wine, super food friendly, can go with anything totally or friendly. nothing at all. Yeah, so that's really great to have that back. This Bouvray, everybody loves it. It's just got like a touch of sweetness mm -hmm. to it, but it's really well balanced with the acidity, so it's great. Yeah, I had one of these last week as well out on my patio. Yeah. It was just Why really not? friendly. Yeah, it's not going to bite you. This Yummy. might be my favorite rosé in the store. I can't believe how good this is. So uh, Perret is a, a little producer. We seem to sell these wines so fast. They're barely in stock, but this is from the, the Savoie. So these guys are almost in Switzerland, right? Mm -hmm. They're like up in the French Alps. And most of the wines there really sell quite quickly because there's so much tourism there. So they're selling them to the skiers and the hikers in the summer. And the rosé is Gamay. And it is about as juicy and delicious a rosé as I've ever had. And what's it selling for? Uh, that guy's 23 and still bone dry so too. Yeah. Awesome little it's wine. It's so good. And then our tag is finally back in stock. It's like everything's back on me, right? Back. I know. It feels so good. All these things that were out of stock a, a month or two ago. Just all of Restrictions are, are lifting. Wines are back in stock. Yeah. It's, uh, it's looking Times like a good. great summer. Stampede's <laughs> coming. You can have a, you can have I've a party. No complaints a right over. now. We're having a staff barbecue. How about that? It's been a... Oh, we minutes since we've done that, and 2020 Dolcetto. Mm -hmm. This is your first crack at this one. This is, and I have loved it every single year. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I already, I've already had like two bottles of this. Are you kidding? I've been so excited to get this one back in stock. Um, Marengo is a tiny little producer. They make less than 5,000 cases. They're based in uh, the village of Lamora, so we're in Barolo, but we're up at the highest point in Barolo. So Lamora is kind of this pretty spot where you can look down at all the other little villages, and that's where Marengo grows all the grapes. So they make some phenomenal Barolo. They make Granate, a single vineyard one. They make a single vineyard from Brico de Viola. If you're a Barolo fan, those are back in stock now. We don't get very much, so you want to grab those quickly. But what's really fun about these guys is they make some really affordable wines too. So there's some Barbera, which is an amazing, mm -hmm. amazing version of Barbera. It's a much more elegant style. It's all single vineyard. And this Dolcetto, which is only $29.95, right? I know. Sneaking in under 30 bucks for some serious high-class Italian juice here. Mm -hmm. These so, guys are fifth generation. They try and do everything as natural as possible. I mean, like the quality of the wines is always, always awesome. Um, and the price points really have maintained um, pretty well throughout the years. Mm. They're phenomenal price points. I mean, Barolo's never going to be cheap. It's a really expensive place to grow grapes, a really expensive place to make wine. It's Naviolo. It's probably the hardest grape variety out there to work with, but uh, I think the value is impressive, and especially this Dolcetto. Because I'll, I got a, I got a little secret for you. Mm. I usually say this live, but I've never been a big fan of Dolcetto. Oh, 
always found it just like too tart and okay. like too lean and it never really like I don't know I never loved it but this one has just enough weight and enough fruit to sort of balance it out and I love this this is my go-to charcuterie board one. Oh yeah if I'm doing Great. charcuterie board I'm pouring this this is like my my go-to love it yeah, I think it's a really approachable wine to get into the wines of the region, right? Like Nebbiolo can sometimes be a little more tannic, um, a little bit higher acid, and if you're not, you know, really ready for that, um, this is a great way to get into it. It's got more of that, like, blackberry, blueberry. Right now. It's pretty tasty. What do you think about the 2020? It's good. Yeah, I think this might be the best version of this guy yet. Honestly, there's just, like, so much more fruit and freshness in this, mm -hmm. and there's, like, there's lots of power here, there's lots of like material, there's lots to chew on, but it's like everything just seems to be really well balanced in this wine. And I'm, yeah. I'm a super fan of this. I'm gonna buy much of this. I'm gonna take some of these home tonight too. I gotta yeah. try that Barbera next. Have no. you had that one yet? No, but we're about to get right. busy with the corks. <laughs> we only have 10 minutes on this, but I guarantee that bottle's gonna be open <laughs> off camera. So if you come down here this weekend, you can uh, you can get into it too. These are going to be open all weekend. So. Yeah, and this one's available online if you are shopping online. I know we've got a stampede coming up and some barbecues in the works. So um, if you don't have much time to get down here, you can order this six pack. You can order these smaller production on these. So you'll have to come into the shop to get those. Yeah, I can't put those online. Literally, some of these wines we only get 36 or 48 bottles. Um, they're made in such small quantities. Some of them are made in less than 100 cases, so they're just a few barrels. So. We're really lucky to get any at all, but we don't have much. So if you want to try them, hmm. this is the weekend to do it. Anything else? What about tastings? They're back. Tastings are back. So we actually have some tasting events that are posted uh, online. You can check those out, and those are all happening out of our university district location. So a ton of fun things to uh, check out there. They are selling fast, so yeah. take a peek quickly. Um, but they've got all kinds of things coming up. Wine 101, we've got some bubbly tasting all about Spain if you want to get into some Spanish wine. Yeah. Um, and then of course our tasting bars are open. You can taste wine again. And mm -hmm. we're going to distance people a little bit to tasting so we won't have the full 20. We we're only doing 12 per, so you get yep. a little bit of personal space That's there. Right. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you this weekend. Come by and uh, taste some wine with us.